video will demonstrate how teachers can follow a hashtag on Twitter. A hashtag on Twitter or other social networks is represented by the pound sign on your keyboard followed by a word or phrase with no spaces. The purpose of a hashtag is to help categorize conversations so that users are able to connect with people who they may not already know who want to have conversations similar to what they are talking about themselves. If a user puts a specific hashtag in a tweet they post, other users who search for that hashtag will be able to communicate with them and see their messages whether or not they're following each other on Twitter. To begin, let's go sign into our Twitter page. Once you're on Twitter, take a look at the top right hand corner of the screen and you'll see a box that says search Twitter. In this search box you'll be able to search for users, topics, or hashtags, a word or phrase preceded by the pound sign. Let's take a look at what it looks like to search for a hashtag. I'll go ahead and click my mouse in that search box and type pound sign and then the hashtag I would like to search for. In this case, I'll search for the Fox School District's learning hashtag C6Learns. It is important to keep in mind that hashtags are not case sensitive. You can use all caps, all lowercase, or a mix of the two and still get the same results. Once I search for this hashtag, we'll see images and tweets and videos show up on the screen. It's important to notice at the top of this screen, right below where it says results for C6 Learns, there are two ways that users can sort these tweets, either by the top or most popular tweets, or by showing all tweets in the order that they have been posted. I can switch from viewing top tweets to viewing all tweets simply by clicking the word all. And here we'll still see the most recent to the oldest tweets on this list. Let's look at another example using the hashtag that you will use for your event. UOS, Fox, and in the case of the first group, the number one. I'll go ahead and click enter. And we'll see that as of this recording, only one tweet has been sent using this hashtag. To contribute a tweet to a hashtag or a conversation, a user will first need to click the tweet button on the top right hand corner of their screen. And when the user types his or her message, we'll need to be sure to include the hashtag somewhere in that tweet, which is the pound sign followed by the word or phrase. You'll notice in this particular tweet, I included the hashtag UOSFOX1 at the end of the tweet. That hashtag could be included at the beginning, middle, or end, as long as it is somewhere in the tweet preceded by the pound sign with no spaces, anyone who searches for this particular hashtag will be able to see my message. Once I click tweet, in just a moment or two, the Twitter feed will refresh and my tweet will be listed with the other tweets for that hashtag. Now you can see that shortly after I posted my message, it has been cataloged with the rest of the tweets following this hashtag. In order to see these tweets, a teacher will simply need to search for this hashtag on Twitter and they'll be able to follow the conversation. This has been JP Presvento, the Fox C6 EdTech Coordinator, demonstrating how to follow a hashtag on Twitter.